Okay, you head left till you see a room ahead. Cut down past the room to find another room to enter to get 385 gold pieces. Because I don't want fucking gold! What? I don't want gold! Bring me to the end of this dungeon. Exit the room. Start to the left to enter a room where a treasure chest will have all access points to it blocked off. Except for the bottom one. This is a sign for you to completely fill your hit points before stepping forward to fight guardians of the crown that you seek. Yes, this is the Poseidon fight. So where is this? Well, if you'd listen to the instructions... I was, but it's like, this fucking guide is like, go left all the way. And you're like, okay. And then it's like, Are you open up? the box with a fucking door hinge in it. And then it's like, this <laughs> doesn't do anything. Now walk right for six more miles to go where you actually need to go. <laughs> Uh, is this the room with the 295? No. Where went, are we? I went down. I hate you. Where are- go back up. No. From- from the shitty room with the shitty money, where do I go? Left till you see a room ahead. Okay. And then cut down past the next room. Yeah. Find another room to enter to get money and then exit that room. Start to- to the left. To enter a room where there is a treasure chest that has all access points to it blocked off. And then heal. So I could have just went down and to the left. Got it. This fucking shit. I'm just reading you what the instructions say. Well, this instruction sucks. You picked it. You told me which one. Well, it's the highest rated on GameFAQ and they shouldn't because it sucks. You just don't want to be in the marsh cave anymore. I don't. Why would you want to be in this fucking place? Oh, by the way, this dungeon that's horrible and just ruins everything. Um, just walk in circles, fight 13 things, and then when you're done doing that, then go to the end of the dungeon. Like, that's what this fucking guy's doing. I looked up right, game look. prices because I... Wow. Heal. <laughs> wow. And now it's wizards. Oops. Yeah, loot. You, loot. Should I actually fill up? It says heal up your HP. Yeah, he also said... B-level fucking... <coughs> Like a seven for this. I don't know, ten. <laughs> We're still having a hard time. What See, it? it's the Krakens. Hey, we only have two of them. We're lucky. They have 84 HP a piece. I don't give a shit. I have lightning too. Like, fuck themselves. <laughs> Does harm work on these guys? Um. I don't think so. I don't know. They hit for a lot of damage and they have one weakness that's barely a weakness. The Is their weakness, uh, Paul Sword? No, yeah. Oh, I think we talked about this. Ah, taste. Oh, hold on. Specifically, a silver sword. Oh. Yeah, they hurt you pretty hard. They have really high defense. Well, I think that was Yuki. Yuki's fucking harmless. Wow, I actually not no, pretty strong. They have high defense. Nova. <laughs> that one should be dead. No. Oh. How much health is that? Yeah. They only have eighty-four apiece. So hopefully Nova doesn't die. Uh, I think you're about to kill the the, top, the last wizard, actually. No, it... It didn't take a lot of damage. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun! Hold on. Let's see how Cure 2 does. Oh, well, I went first. HP up 47. Wasn't that what it was at? Oh, oh hey, okay, there we go. go. Yeah, that's a good Nice. <coughs> wow. Paul fucking will shrek it. <laughs> okay, do not leave. Pick up the chest. Pick up the crown. <laughs> we need it. Fucking dope ass music. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. Exit the room. Oh, no. hey, wait, there's a thing? What? Go through the room to move along the bottom of the floor area till you see the room above. Go past it on the left. Enter the room you arrive at. Take the ladder up a floor. Exit the room and follow the left wall as you go up to find the stairs that lead to the outside world. I think it brings us to another part of the map. Because <coughs> I don't think we want to go back to Elfland. No, we want to go straight from where the cave entrance is. And then we get to Crown Town. Crown Town? You Crown mean Town. Northwest Castle? Yeah. Where there's a man inside that we give the crown. Oh, actually, we're going to fight another boss immediately. Yeah, in Crown Town. I feel like there's a story that I'm missing out on here. No. you Well, originally we were supposed to go to Crown Town, and the guy's like, Hello, I am king. Can you please help me get my crown? And then you're like, Yeah, we can have you get your crown. Sure, why not? And then you get his crown, you give it back to him, and he goes, Ah, I am actually evil imp. Isn't he the one that curses the prince? 
the elf prince. Yeah, and then you kill him, and then you go back, and then the prince is fine, and then the elf people are like, yay, thank you! And then you get the continue. You're welcome, journey. elves. I don't think I've seen elves in a Final Fantasy game since. Elzines? Look, they don't count. Literally called elves. Literally, like, I'm talking, like, mainstream Final Fantasy. Like, there's no elves in 6, 7, 8, 9. Because it's not, like, mystical fantasy anymore. Were there elves in 2 and 3? Probably. But, no, there weren't in... There weren't in 3, I'm pretty sure. Because after, like, Final Fantasy 4, they were like, you know what? We're doing this weird, like, Neo-New York kind of thing. Yeah, uh, because, no, five, Cause six, 5 was still fantastical. Because 6 was like, oh, by the yeah, way, we're got, doing Magitech. Yeah, because 6 introduced Magitech, and it got more technological. And then you have 7, which was just, like, fantasy. Yeah, they're like, here's the... Sci-fi. Yeah, they're like, here's the world if it was mixed with Final Fantasy. Which I really enjoy. I know. But I looked up prices because I didn't believe you. Right? Look, $69. Nest, Nest prices were $29.99 to $49.99. Jesus Christ. Yeah, adjusted with inflation. Adjusted with inflation, but that's what it was, like, when you paid for it. Yeah, but $60 was the cost. If we were $100 buying $100 for a Nest game. Yeah. So imagine, Christ. imagine like, right now, if I was like, I want to play Destiny. And you were like, that's $100. And I'd be like, well, at least I'm gonna get like my money's worth out of it. Jeez, at least I'm it's like it's like my rule for buying expensive games. It's gotta give me at least a dollar per hour for what I pay for it. Unless you had a really good time playing it. Yes. Like Resident Evil, the new one. I think it was only like I think the game was only like 18 hours. But like to someone who plays Resident Evil, like they could play it more than once. Yeah. And like just from me watching people play it, I was like, wow, that's actually a really good game. Or it's like like how Devil May Cry is like ten hours, but you play it over and over again. Well, yeah, like games like Devil May Cry and stuff, or like um, what's a uh, Kratos? God of War. <laughs> I don't know what so is like, Kratos. So like God of War, get it out of my way. You like when you beat the game, they're like, good job, you can beat the game again in a fish suit and you're like oh fuck yeah and you're like what and then you play the game in a fucking fish suit and it's fucking cool our bone red bone oh yeah good job I right. should've... do i have harm too i do did i bring you did i bring did i bring them i did here here good job Ooh, i got a <laughs> kit kat <laughs> I got rewarded with candy. That's awesome. Right? Do I... <laughs> if I answer more questions correctly, do I get more candy? I've, I mean, I've only got a little bit, but sure. <laughs> Quiz me, teach. <laughs> what is the capital of Iceland? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> is it Iceland? <laughs> no, it's not Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No candy for me. It's uh, Reykjavik, actually. <laughs> And I'm gonna eat that Kit Kat, thank you. Shit, Kit Kat chocolate is so good. Right? Um, I, I just love wafer chocolate. But uh, I we had like a potluck at work yesterday for all the employees because we were all there for ten hours for the for the Mayweather fight. Wow, I guess looked through two things. Oh damn. But um, so I forgot to bring food, so I stopped at Walmart and just bought a buttload of Kit Kats. Dope. And I brought them in, and then there was, like, a whole packet left. So I just went around. I took it, and I went around the restaurant as everyone was cleaning, and I was like, hey, 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 hey. Eat this. Good job. And I handed them a Kit Kat and walked away. I want the one bone to kill him. I mean, the one damage. Come on! Oh. <laughs> oh I thought that was on spaghetti. Never mind. Woo! Now that we're leaving, I'm not afraid to spend my materia. <laughs> materia? My magic MP, whatever the hell it's called. See, 590 gold. Money doesn't fucking matter at this place. Mm. <laughs> go! <laughs> Got one more ladder to go up. Ah! Woo! I also don't want Spaghetti to be the main character. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, monster strike first, my nuts. I should have healed spaghetti. Can I strike your nuts first? Come on, ask me a question, Madison. Um, I don't know. Quick, draw a bridge 
on my whiteboard and asked me to find the compression strength in all the the members. You could say anything and I wouldn't know the right answer, so I'd just <laughs> give you the chocolate anyway. Yeah, but I could just write it out longhand and show you the proof. And you'd be like, well, those numbers do equal those numbers. <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, right? I think I only have one left. Wait. Wait. No, I only have one left. Fuck. That's two left! <laughs> <laughs>